morning, good morning, good morning. It's another day in paradise. After many days of rain, 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 we've got some of uh, that buttered popcorn golden sunshine back with us again. August, it's so peaceful and still. You hear all the peepers in the background. Thanks for the love. Good morning, Tony Jean. Good morning, Kelly Kay. Welcome to paradise. Thanks for taking a walk with us in paradise today. Let's see, wave, wave. Where are you guys from? What state, what country? This is upstate New York, cow country. And I was taking my morning walk after many days of rain, and it was just so clear and brisk and smelling beautiful. I just had to share it. So we're out sharing. Yes, upstate New York. New York, one hour north of New York City. You're from, oh, okay, very cool. Well, we are from about four hours, we're three hours north of the GW Bridge. And then it's anybody's guess once you get into the city. Oneonta is the biggest town nearby. Binghamton is about an hour away. They're both college towns. This is such a beautiful time of the morning. That hill. Carla, welcome. Thanks for joining us in Walking in Paradise. Yeah, we're about an hour and a half from Albany. Ems is here. Joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. That hill back there with that patch of green. That's I saw that picture when I was looking for property and I could see that from my driveway and I said, I gotta go there. That's my piece of property. It called to me. And we come to the other side of the street. More of the same. So lovely, Tony Jean, absolutely. It is my paradise. I'll tell you guys a story. When I had a picture in my head one day of a house on a lake upstate New York. Somehow I just knew it was upstate. So I felt that that was my vision from God to move upstate. And as I started to look for property, God said to me, what is your one word priority? What do you want upstate New York? And I said, I want paradise. And a few days later, the realtor sent me a listing and it said literally said your own little piece of paradise and that's where I'm living <laughs> moved up for that and I've been here ten and a half years <sighs> where are you guys from besides Kelly's down an hour north of New York City it's also a nice place. White Westchester, Yonkers, things like that. But if God is good all the time, ask and ye shall receive. Amen, sister. Well, you know what's funny for me is I think the ask is comes from God. I think in my experience, every question I have, every thought I have, is put into my head for me to ask and then they say oh funny you should ask that question so I do my best to live by my visions oh, there comes the Sun I have to stop there because the Sun just kissed me beautiful 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 Amen, it's always him. 
him and her. Here's a 3D picture. And now we're changing slightly the scenery. We're going from wide open pasture to low network connection. Hmm, I don't know why. Keep on walking very quickly. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you still have it says it's recording, but it may not be broadcasting. Oh, there we go. We're back. Okay, so we lost the connection there a little bit. Thanks for joining us walking in paradise, Mosumi. This is the August weather. You hear the peepers behind me. You could smell these beautiful pine trees or spruce trees, evergreens, basically. Just a whole lot of evergreens. My neighbor's got a new dog that likes to bark. <laughs> so we'll take a look at this side of the street. Joy, 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 waving to Musumi. So where else, share where are you folks, what part of the country or world you live in. Because we're all taking a walk in paradise together. You get to know each other a bit. Makes these Facebook lives even more personal. Thanks for the thumbs up. I can't see who gave that to me, but... Thanks for the hearts. Love, love, love. Joy, joy, joy. Here comes a beautiful picture. Old red barn. Beautiful view of the valley. And out there you could see some silver, a little bit of silver. That's two silver silos. That's an old farm. It's not working anymore. It's not in use. Ah, the smells, fresh air, so the trees, the moss, the earth, the barn. Thanks for walking in paradise with us this morning, Doreen. Joy, joy, joy. We are walking near my house in upstate New York. What part of the country or world do you live in? Walking past the cow barn here. You can smell the hay. Actually, all the hay is stored right up there. Down here, we've got chickens and I, not we, not me, my neighbors got roosters and chickens and goats and two rescue horses. And look at that view. Blessings to you, Tony Jean. Look at that. I'm living in my cowboy cowboy dreams now I'm living my cowboy dreams everything seems so perfectly neat and whenever I'm feeling all right you know I'm living my cowboy life that's my cowboy song I wrote many years ago when I moved up here you hear the crows calling away up there, too. Smelling the manure now. Actually, I like that smell. Now we're coming into a little more treed area. So you get a totally different feeling. I love this because I used to, I grew up basically in the woods and loved being in the woods. Good morning, Angel. Joy, joy, joy. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. It's been a while since I've taken a walk in paradise with you all, mainly because it's been raining. <laughs> and when it hasn't been raining, it's been so gray. I just came out for the exercise. Good morning, Cindy. Hey, thanks for joining us in 
paradise taking a walk with us in paradise i believe this is your first walk with us yes angel we appreciate this the simple things the small things the simple things the little things the stillness so here there's a pond down there it's grown over a lot from the road it's hard to see the pond let's see if we can get in there yeah you see a little bit of the pond down there and then this side of the street starts to become more woodsy so it's so wonderful to get the, a little bit of both open pasture and forest the last place I lived was up was on the north shore of Long Island and I had woods on one side and the Long Island Sound on the other. Good morning, Cindy. Yes, looks lovely. It is lovely. It smells lovely. It sounds lovely. Ah, boy, I just get so high. I literally get high smelling the smells of this countryside. You see, not a car has come by. Quite amazing. So, uh, Angel's from Texas, and uh, where are the rest of you guys from? Somebody, uh, I think Kelly is from, or Tony, who's who is from New York? Let's see. Let's go back a little bit here. Kelly's from New York, New York City. Tony Jean says it's very beautiful. Do you get a lot of traffic or is it usually quiet? Yeah, you know, rush hour is if their one car goes past us. <laughs> when I first moved here, there'd maybe be a car drive through here once every few days. Now it's a little busier than that, but it's really, this is it. I mean, why wouldn't I want to live here? This is my dream. Although my dream is, the angels have told me to move to California now. So, wow, LOL. Yeah, right? Now, here's the cool thing. I was wondering, I asked my angels yesterday. I mean, I'm all for it. You want me to move to California? I think I love that idea. But if I'm in my paradise, what and why would I leave paradise? What's out there? And I was talking to a friend in California, and I found this company that sells buildings, like for, you know, housing, but smaller housing. And the fronts of the buildings are old-timey Western, like the country store, the post office, the hotel. And it looks from this front of it like a real Western town. And I got so excited. It's like, wow, I would love to have a, like a tourist place, a Western village that people could come and hang out and enjoy some sort of feeling of West. Uh-oh, here comes, here comes rush hour. You could hear somebody coming up the hill here. See you last, and here comes the truck. <laughs> All you had to do was ask. We got oil delivery or propane delivery, I'm not sure which. Oh, rush hour's over now. <laughs> and this side of the street is woods. So I got this idea that, where, how cool would it be? to create a place that people would come and it'd be kind of Western, you know, but it would be also a new kind of Western. So it would be healthy foods, organic foods, new ideas. So a reimagined West. We'd have eco ecological discussions or, you know, taking care of the earth 
loving all humanity, cowboys loving Native Americans, Native Indians. I just saw something the other day, a video where the Indians were saying they don't want to be called Native Americans, they want to be called Natives or Indigenous. So, I'm trying to keep that in my brain. Yes, Tony Jean, follow our hearts. Sounds wonderful, thanks. And what's really cool about it is I got this vision in 2010, January 1st, that the angels told me that we're in a new age, the age of celebration. And so my overarching med meditation, my overarching message is life is here to see. We're in the age of celebration. The work of today is to play. Yogi Anjani, joy, joy, joy. Thanks for joining us again on Walking in Paradise. Thanks for walking with us. So the idea is, if this is the age of celebration, everything we choose to do, <clears throat> we choose it as a play, as a, as a game, as a joy. Thanks for the thumbs up. And so to have a place where people come to for entertainment, healthy entertainment, for joy, for fun. You're setting the, the you're, you're delineating. You're saying we're here to play. We're here to invite others to play. Tony Jean says, love that. <laughs> Great. And so it's really a cool thing that if we can make this happen, we're just, we have a friend, my friend Andrew said he, can, he knows of a place, 100 acres. Who just popped in here? Welcome, Sue. Thanks for walking in paradise with us. Upstate New York. First day in a few days where the sun is coming through. And the smells are just amazing this time of the morning. Oh, look at here. We have an orange. One of my orange friends are here. Look how beautiful that thing is. Look at the spots. He's in the middle of the road, and I'm going to try to help him. Bring him to the side of the road so he doesn't get run over. There he goes. There he goes. Uh-oh, I think the rush hour is coming again. Yep. <clears throat> Two cars, holy cow. It's bumper to bumper traffic. It's it's moved up a notch from rush hour to bumper to bumper traffic. Uh oh, here comes a third. This is crazy. Jeepers, jeepers, creepers. Well, we saved the salamander, my orange kin. <laughs> I do that whenever I see them in the road. And they're so beautiful. All these animals and insects or whatever in nature, the back of the turtle, the back of the uh, salamander, it's just so beautiful. It's I, the, the designs and, and the patterns and the... There's probably mathematical precision to it, too. It just feels like that. So. Yes, traffic jam. <laughs> There's a postcard that they used to sell in town. It was a country road just like this. And then you saw like a mama, duck, and like six ducklings crossing the street. And it said, traffic jam. Or, yeah, no, it said, uh morning rush hour something like that <laughs> all right i'm losing the connection so i'll walk back the other way just a little bit
So it looks like it says it's still recording, but I don't think you folks can see it live. Because it says recording, but it doesn't say live. Well, uh, there we go. Okay, so we're back live. What happens is it says uh, recording, but low connection. So I think it stops doing the live. Might freeze or something, I don't know. But it's recording, so folks who watch it later. Yeah, only nature could provide that much beauty. I mean, amazing, amazing. Oh, I just saw another animal the other day. Was it a bird? Well, the woodpecker came by the other day, and the red, the red neck, a red-headed woodpecker. And man, it had so much energy to it. I like got all so excited. And I did see another animal the other day. The design was just so amazing. I'm trying to even think what it was, where it was. So. All right, friends. I've got to finish my walk and we go into an area where there's no more reception. So I'm going to say thank you all for joining us today. Walking in paradise. Find yourself a little piece of paradise where you live and get out there and dream your dreams. Listen to your visions. Listen to your angels. Listen to your God. Listen to your intuition. And live as much of your paradise and play as much as you can. Thank you, Tony Jean. Joy, joy, joy. Mm -hmm.